Hi, my name is Megan. I work here at Dog Wash Depot and I want to show you how to wash a dog. So you come on in. We offer these little stalls so you're safe. The gate sh shut so that you can work in here without letting your dog escape. We also have rings down here that you can tether your dog to if you're doing more than one or you need to work around them. Um, so you bring them in. Bring them, put them in the tub. Here's the loop we use. You can put it in three different places, put it around the dog so he stays up here while you're washing him and also while you're drying him. So we offer a luxury shampoo that's hypoallergenic, used for anything from you know labs to poodles to pigeons, the moisturizing conditioner. Then we also offer a dry skin shampoo, which is aloe oatmeal shampoo, which is great for dry skin. We have a de shedding shampoo for dogs that shed a lot, like labs. We have a medicated shampoo for dogs with bad skin or might have open sores or itchy areas. And then we also offer a fan tick shampoo if your dog has fleas or ticks. So, bring your dog in, put him up here. This is our hose. Uh, the water is set at 90 degrees, which is less than a human temperature's bathtub, but it's great for dogs, so you don't have to worry about that. It's set for one water pressure, so that as you're washing them, you don't have to worry about it. So you put them up here, turn the water on, get them all wet. Then you take a shampoo, put this on. You put it from neck all the way down his shoulders, his body, all the way down his legs. You know, scrub it really, really good. Get in between his uh, pads and his toes. Get under his belly, his tail, everything like that. Scrub it really, really good. Get a lather going. And then we suggest you use a tearless shampoo we have, which is used for the face. So you can put it on his head, his muzzle, his chin, ears, everything. We don't suggest you get it in his eyes, but if it does, it won't hurt him. It's safe for that. That's what it's made for. So then you put him in here, turn the water on, and then you rinse him from nose all the way down to the tail. All the way, rinse it really, really good. We also have a bath brush we can use, which is really good. You can use it either, you know, putting the shampoo on the dog or when you're rinsing it off. You do circles to get it in, or you can just stroke it down with the fur and that'll help get a lot of the dead fur and the dirt out. So that's really good. So then when you're done rinsing all the shampoo out, you want to take your hand and rub it against this coat and you should get a squeaky clean feeling, which is like your hand like squeaks on his fur, showing that the, all the shampoo's out and he's clean. So then you take the conditioner, you do the same thing as the shampoo, work it all the way from the neck, all the way down the body, legs, tail, everything. You can also use this for the conditioner again, if you have like a long haired breed or a dog that's shedding a lot, you can work this in circles in the dog's fur, um, loosen all that fur up. Then you let the conditioner sit for two or three minutes. Then when you're done, you rinse them off again with the hose, you know, neck all the way down to his tail, ears, legs. Rinse them really, really good. You can use the brush again while you're rinsing to get that fur out so he's not shedding as much. So then when he's done being washed, he's dripping wet. So we suggest you bring him over here and take all this off when, when he gets up here. The loop moves over here so you can dry it. So then we have dryers. We offer two kinds of dryers, one that's really powerful and one that's soft. This is our soft dryer. Um, what you do is you take it, put it up here, plug it in. It's quite noisy so you want to um, start on a low setting to make sure that your dog's not going to have a problem with the noise. So I'll turn it on so you can hear what the soft dryer sounds like. Plug in and... So that's what it sounds like. And you're going to take this, as you're standing over here, start on the back end. I usually suggest the back legs or the haunches. And if the dog's here, you want to hold it right up against their skin because you want to blow that water right off the coat. So you dry him so he's not wet. So you kind of work your way up, work slowly, thoroughly, use small circles or strokes, whatever you feel is good for you. Work it all the way up, work it up his haunches, work it up his side, you know, belly, legs, work it as much as he can. If he's being a little dodgy about the legs, don't worry about it, those will dry quickly. Um, I don't suggest you try and dry his head. Um, you don't want to get the air on his face. That can be a little upsetting. Um, so when you're done with that, You can, um, we offer ear cleaner and cotton balls so you can clean out his ears. And then if you feel that um, he needs his nails clipped, you can uh, call a groomer over and a groomer will do that for you. 
So, um, self-wash is uh, no appointment needed. You can just come on in whenever you want. Our groomers are here to help you, and uh, that's how you wash your dog at Dog Wash Depot.